Hey guys, so I am at the gym and I am going to run. I decided to stay up late last night just to have some like me time and I honestly don't even know what I was doing. Well, I do know what I was doing. I was like um, journaling, watching Undercover Boss, which was, it's always such a good heartfelt show because it always ends with them getting like money to help provide for their family and getting awarded for and recognized for doing their hard work and it just like I literally was in tears yesterday last night and I was just hanging out with John and just having me time I took a nice bath because Jaden has actually been sleeping so well and I am so grateful for that like you have no idea how grateful I am but basically I just wanted to record just kind of like a before and after of like kind of workout motivation because before I work out, sometimes I'm just like this, like <laughs> zombie taking care of Jay all, all day, but, and we were up pretty early, so I, I didn't get that much sleep, but honestly, it feels like I got a lot of sleep because she doesn't wake up that much during the night anymore, which I am, again, so grateful for, but I just like to give myself this motivation because beforehand, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna work out and you know that whole thing in my head but then after i'm like sweaty and during i feel so good so i know that i'm gonna feel so good and i just kind of wanted to document that but basically i'm just treadmill running again that's what i've been doing that's what i've been up to um i think i want to show you guys like the settings i do so i'm pretty sure that i am going to be <laughs> I'm still hesitant, but I know I need to make a decision soon about enrolling in a half marathon. I was gonna do just a 10K, but not just, that's incredible if you do a 10K, 5K, anything. But um, for me, I've been running for a really long time and I have never done a race. And so I was like, oh, I'm gonna do a 10K. But for me, I wanna make it something that is like, very challenging. I've been running four miles every day pretty much, pretty easily. Not easy, like it's not like just simple walk in the park, but it hasn't been like as much of a struggle as it used to be. I've definitely grown within my running. So I was thinking if I do a 10K and kind of like make it a big deal that it's just a couple miles more than what I normally do every single day. So I really want this to be like something I work for. So I think I'm gonna enroll in a half marathon. I found one that I really, really like. It's, I don't remember the name, but if I have a picture of it, a screenshot, I'll put it right here. And so yeah, so basically, or I'll put the name or something like that, but um, it's basically for like girls and women's health which is incredible and just like um just supporting women being healthy and that's so important to me especially because i'm raising a little girl so <laughs> i'm raising a daughter so that's just like huge for me because i want her to see mama being healthy i want her to know how important exercise and taking care of herself is so that's something I hugely support. So that was like the biggest reason why I hadn't done a race yet was because I didn't put in the time to like research and find something that I actually really support and that actually has a good charity and isn't just me running for the heck of it, you know? So I think I'm gonna do this one. It's two months out and I think I'm gonna do it. But basically this is treadmill running. This gym is usually pretty empty because we have two at our apartment complex and this one's just generally empty. If anything, there's just one other person that usually comes in. But I, it's lately they've been making it super cold in here because it's really hot where we're at. And it's nice too because I turn on the fans. And basically kind of my settings on um, the treadmill. I know I'm like rubbing my nose 90 million times. Let's see if you can see that so basically i just do manual and let me get a better shot for you guys i just do manual and then enter 
and then I adjust like the time and everything like that. So um, I'm gonna do just 36 minutes. So that's gonna be four miles for me. I usually can get it done in that time. And then I press enter and then it asks for my age. I am 25. And then I am 145 right now. So I don't usually like to share my weight just because I don't want anyone like comparing or thinking they're less than or just like weight isn't really that big of a deal. Um, so whatever. So that's my weight right now, which is actually, I've hit a goal of mine, which is to get pre-pregnancy. And that is exactly what I was at pre-pregnancy, which is crazy. I just kind of was letting my body do its thing and it naturally got me here. So that's wild. Um, so 145 and then my speed, I'm going to adjust that. These treadmills are actually way harder. I don't know if you're a runner and you know about these spirit treadmills. These are actually more challenging than the ones at our apartment back in Utah. They just are just more challenging and my mom came on these ones too. And let me show you. My mom went on this one too and she was just like, that is so much more challenging. She's like, what the heck, you, you found the hardest treadmill to ever exist. So these are more challenging. So I go on like 6.8 has right now been like a very comfortable distance for me. So that's about um, eight minutes and 50 seconds, I think per mile, which is nothing near as to what I used to run, but that's where I'm comfortable running postpartum. And that is the biggest advice that I will ever give about working out postpartum, even though I'm just six months out is to literally just listen to your body and do what you're comfortable with. Do not push yourself to the point of hurting yourself, especially if you're breastfeeding, you're like, everything is getting taken out of you. So please listen to your body and um, really take care of that, that body. <laughs> your baby needs you. So basically I'm just gonna get running. I'm gonna go four miles and feel so good during it. And I will see you guys after. All right, guys, so I did it. I did it in a total of 35 minutes and 10 seconds. As you can see, I have 50 seconds left. Did four miles. I don't know why it doesn't show it all here, but I did it. I'll see you guys in a minute. I'm breathing like a crazy lady, but I feel so good. That was me just sprinting. I didn't record when I actually ran just because that's my me time. <laughs> As a mama, it's so nice. Just talked about this before, but to have that me time and to 
just zone out and what i usually listen to if you're wanting some like music recommendations is i usually listen to um a live set like um i just I love edm it's what i always 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 listen to i used to be a fan of like a big fan i mean i love everything to be honest like if a song comes on i'm dancing to it right now that consists of baby shark <laughs> i actually like the jaws version of that um but yeah i'm just wiping down the treadmill but um i love live sets like i'm saying like i was saying i love listening to right now it's the chain smokers live at ultra 2019 i think um yes 2019 and it has elenium in there and i just love it it just gets me so pumped up um, but yeah, guys, I feel so good. This is all the sweat. I knew I'd feel so good. So if you're looking for some running motivation, postpartum workout motivation, or just walking motivation, anything, just motivation in general, I'm so glad I can make this because on days that I don't want to work out, I'm going to rewatch this and be like, look how you felt before and look how you felt after. I feel so freaking good. Now it's time to hydrate and go home and see my baby. I work out at just the apartment gyms, like I mentioned. And I love it because it's just a step away. I have to turn off the fans, but it's just a step away. I threw that away, right guys? You guys were with me. Um, and then I just go right on home to see and kiss and cuddle my baby. And I'm a way happier mom too when I do that. Like I said, I know I'm only six months postpartum, but these are just the things that are helping me and it feels so good so i am almost positive that i am going to um enroll in that half marathon so maybe i'll make more videos of just like training with me and outside runs we'll see i don't know how to kind of film outside runs that's why it's just easier to have you guys tag along with me to the little gym but have a beautiful day guys love and light to you all follow me on instagram um i post a lot of what i'm doing like quotes and whatnot. So have a beautiful day, guys. Bye.